Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Do we get energy? We get energy. Let me check the volume. All right. Alrighty then. We can energy. What are we looking at? We have the queen of wands. Let me just get a few. Let me get a few. Then we got the fool. I keep, I swear, I keep seeing like a tower. There we have the king of wands. Okay. Um, four pence. So, what does it look like right off the bat? Okay. Like, as we're talking about love, it's a love channel. You know, I usually feel about my weekend energy with my cards, but, um, between the queen and the king of wands is the truth. Okay, so it looks like the truth is stopping. I didn't use that with the fool. Um, the queen of swords. Alright. So we have the queen of wands and the fool. I don't, it looks to me the fool wants a new start with the queen of wands. It's to me it's the king of wands. It's looking, it's right in between all that, like looking right at each other. Okay. Um, it looks like anything stopping it is the truth. Okay, with the ace of the wood. And then with the four pence. We have the staff. We have the moon and the eight of pence. So this is the moon right next to each other. You guys are, an, like, to me, an ideal match. Okay. Um, and we have a count of Zodiac. You guys, the sun and the moon, you, you complement each other. Queen of Swords, this woman's no joke. Okay. Um, so with the four of swords, she's, she's looking and, and, like, you know, she's resting from strike. And then we have the death card. Like, she went through transformation. Okay. So she's... She's not even looking in the direction of the king or the fool or nothing. You know, she's she's looking. She's like, <laughs> she's like, her, his head is in her hand. And she's like, fuck that. She's like, the shit is over. He's gone. He's done. Beneath the, I'm going through a transformation. I'm out Okay. Um, stuff. Alright, but, <clears throat> you know, I think this also says, you know, this is the core couple, guys, and you, you do complement each other, and the only thing standing in the way from building from the ground up again is, is the truth right at this moment, you know what I'm saying? So, I think it's this king of wands that wants to do stuff, alright, because he's looking into it, tell the truth, it's like, I gotta tell the truth, so this is, he's, He's also looking into the past, okay? She seems to be in the present. She's looking straight ahead with the staff. You know, she could be in a public eye. She's doing great, okay? She's just, she's optimistic. She's got faith. She's following her destiny. She's just going, okay? So, to me, what they're saying is he's been holding on to her, okay? With the, with the four, I'm just looking. The only thing in the way, like I said, is the truth. Um, a conversation to have this new staff with the queen. So we had her with that with, with her being a star, you know, she's following the destiny. She's going towards the unknown. Regardless, she's having her new start, going right towards destiny. You know, I don't know. She had to build from the ground up and go all over again. She definitely, Queen of Swords definitely cut whatever out of her life would no longer serve. And it was hard for her. Okay, she had a broken heart, has a broken heart, one or the other. And but now she's resting from it. She's going through a transformation. Okay. So it looks like some of you guys have already gone through a transformation or you're going through another one. You're completely ending 
the grief, the sorrow, the strife, everything that you've been through right now, you're ending it. You're out of it. You, you want nothing to do with it, okay? Um, but this one still wants someone to speak the truth. So, I don't see any messages, though, okay? I see thoughts. Oh, I see stuff that's already went down. And that's, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. If this is saying it looks like you might have a conversation over the weekend with this person. Um, it's my little queen of wands. Queen of wands is very determined. She's on the go. Alright, she's... She's got something in her head right now. Okay. Looks like the four of wands. Alright. She's, she's up to work right now. Alright, with the ten of cups. So she's, she's happy. She's successful. She's going. She seeks her own self fulfillment. She seeks her own stability. She's working hard. Okay. Tell me about the King of Wands. King of Wands looks like, you know, it's been holding on to the pain, um, whether it's caused by her or somebody else. But it looks like the truth definitely needs to be exposed. Okay. And the King of Wands is the King of Wands. So, both the Kings are just kind of sitting there. None of these kings are moving, none of them look active, none of them look happy. Um, and then we've got the effect. So just kind of like looking, you know, do, do I want do I want this? Do I not want this? You know? So We have, you know, thoughts, ladies and gents, the last judgment, okay? Somebody's deciding whether or not to go to the end or no. Um, to me, if it's the woman, she already made that judgment call because it's looking up right at her. So unless this is legitimately a conversation and the woman comes in and she's just like, she needs to make a judgment call. Do I go after this or do I not? Because she's pretty content on her own right now. Um, to me, it doesn't look like she's going after love at all. It looks like she's healed from a broken heart. You know, she's gone through a transformation and, you know, it looks like she made her judgment call. But it's in between, you know, building from the ground up again or cutting or just saying no, you know. So some of the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is resting, okay? it, which is, is so I don't know if we have two different stories here, or if it's all the same person, because it looks like she already cut this person out of her life. Okay? She's resting from the strife with the Six of Swords. So she's she's earned where she's going. This is earned success. She's earned exactly, like I said, she's earned where she's going because she's, she's healed. She's been taking care of herself. She's found self-fulfillment. She's made her own judgment and call. She hasn't relied on anybody else to do anything for her. Okay. So she's she's moving. She's 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 flowing, all right. Walking, flowing, and the kings are just sitting, wondering, do I do I have this new start with time? Do I go into the truth and take a risk and go talk? Okay. Or it's you know, it's her taking a new start. But I don't look at it this way. She, she's already she's she's oblivious to this man right now. She's she's looking down at the moon and the sun judgment. She's already done. She's already cut out out of her life what serves her. She's not even looking at him. So it's it's not her. Okay, it's him wanting to come in. All right, but I don't see this person doing anything. But we have two brand new starts. We have two brand new opportunities. So all this king has to do. You don't necessarily really need messengers. You know, this king just needs to either pick up the phone or you know, text, not going to or do something like that, or do nothing, okay? So this king is self-sabotaging himself this weekend, that's what he's doing. Unless his plans are coming and have a conversation. What are the king's plans for this weekend? What is the king up to this weekend? All right, nine of swords. So he's, he's sitting here comfortably stagnant and content. All right, and... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With the Knight of Swords. Like, he's worried about coming in and delivering a message. So I don't know if you're going to get it or not. It is the same. Okay. 
So um, I just don't know if they're going to get this message or not. They're thinking about it. I just don't know if they'll follow through because they're literally looking at the worry. They're not looking at the new opportunity. They're looking at the worry, the disappointment, things that have gone wrong in their life. You know, it's like, cheer up, buttercup, like, dilly dilly, you know, like, I don't freaking know, man. But that's, that's what you're looking at, somebody deciding whether or not they're going to rush in. And they do come, they're rushing in. But again, it's a night of sorts. Who, who likes, you know, they, they, it's like, it's like the way to talk can be cruel sometimes, like straight up cruel. All right. So, but they're, I don't know if you're going to get like that type of like vulgar attitude. Like at one point, you most definitely did because she cut it out. And now he's like, do I do this or do I not? So if he does come in, he's coming in quick. All right. He's worried. Um, what is he worried about? Some of the minus swords. What is he worried about? But this is all him all up in his head. See, the horse wants to go in another direction. The horse wants to go in the right direction. But he's just like, his thoughts are holding him back. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, see, he's unfulfilled right now. This is the unfulfillment card. All right, he's unfulfilled. He, he's worried, or if he thinks, you know, if he goes, he's going to be unfulfilled. Well, I don't look at it that way at all. I just right now, he's unfulfilled and he's wallowing. He's wallowing and self sabotaging his own situation. Okay. Um, so some might get a message and, and some will not, okay? And it looks like this mom has a content, like I said, you know, not really paying any mind to the situation, just kind of going about her thing and, you know, yada yada. So, now if I take a look at the, the, the equation, okay, you have two very hardworking queens that don't take no bullshit, that are very determined to move forward. And these ones are working their ass off. They're following destiny. They might have gotten a job offer and they're deciding, you know, do I take a new job offer or do I not? They could be having like a, a business meeting, um, stuff like that. Same as the king of same as the king of wands and all these other kings. This particular person too could get a new job offer, but still doesn't know if they want to take it because you know this this one's just. They're holding on to the past. This one's just stuck right now, okay? There's really, honestly, no movement with this person, unfortunately. Um, you know, everything else says, you know, if it's work-related, health-related, you're, you're doing great, you're doing good. Um, if you've had surgery, you're now recovering from surgery. So, there's that with that, okay. But, um, yeah, your health is definitely improving. It will improve. And if it's work-related, it looks like somebody got a new job offer. It looks like there might be some moving involved. You're going to be, um, you're going to be pretty busy. You're going to perfect things to go easy on yourself, Okay. This seems to be your destiny, so it's kind of kind of your job, okay? So don't don't overwhelm yourself to the point where you stress yourself out, okay? Um, but whatever it is you're doing in your work field right now, you're perfecting it, okay? You will be fulfilled if you're not already. So, but again, you know, back to what this is love. Somebody's following the path of destiny. They're they're working hard to get to where they need to be. I don't know if this death card is saying they transformed or, or you did, but to me, you know, it's the queen that cut out and is at her eight of swords resting. Okay, resting from strife, resting from stuff. She, she turned where she's going and it, it was right to death. So she's going through a major transformation. So in all reality, it's not him. It's completely her. It looks like the divine feminine energy is, um, you know, very active over the weekend. About, and about working with energy and the divine masculine um is sitting in sorrow uh, sitting in, it's more of wallowing okay um self-pity self-sabotage i mean look at his face like do i want to do this do i not like 
kind of smug, arrogant, with them coming onto the path, you know, not releasing, not making choices, you know. I, I say a little arrogant because sitting in the phones and not moving, okay, wait, you know, it's like, do I, do I deliver this message or not? But if they do deliver it, they are worried about it, okay. Um, so again, it's like two different directions. One, you know, whatever is up in their head, they're, they're letting it get the best of them, um, which is because right now they're unfulfilled and they're looking right at this mama. So I don't know if it's something they can repair or not, you know. Maybe it's a situation, too, where, you know, it's unrepairable. So it just depends on your situation shift over the week, okay? So that's that. I love you guys. Have a fantastic week.